Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And as predicted, Apple today has released iOS 14 developer beta 6. Now, if you follow me here on the channel, I did talk about how Apple at some point will be switching to releasing new betas on a weekly basis. And it looks like this is the week. Apple is now starting to ramp up production on iOS 14 to hopefully see an official release here in the next couple of weeks. Aside from iOS 14 and developer beta 6, of course, Apple today released iPadOS 14 at developer beta 6 as well, as well as watchOS 7 beta 6 and tvOS 14 beta 6 as well. Now, in this video, of course, I'm going to go over some of the latest details and changes of iOS 14 developer beta 6. Now, public beta testers, you could see this maybe later this afternoon. By the time you watch this video, it could be out for you. Or at the latest, uh, it should be out tomorrow within 24 hours from developer beta. So public beta testers, stay tuned for that. You can follow me on Twitter. So let's get to some of the details here and talk about the one feature that is uh, super cool. And now Apple has made it available in beta 6. And it has to do with AirPods. And we'll go to that in a few seconds here. So before we get to the software itself, let's go ahead and take a look quickly here at the build number for beta 6. There it is. We have 188. 5357E. That is a long build number, which means there's still a few betas in the pipeline before this software is officially released to the public. But keep in mind, Apple looks to be pushing out bug fixes and slight improvements to the software. Nothing major, although there's a really cool feature here that I want to talk about, as I mentioned, that has to do with AirPods. So let's talk about some of the latest UI changes. This iPhone here has beta 5, and this one's running beta 6, of course. And the first thing I want to talk about is the sub menus for 3D touch and haptic touch have been redefined and compacted a little. It looks a little hard to depict here, uh, but they have been rearranged and also uh, made more compact in beta 6. Now, something I didn't miss in beta 5 is that the folders, Apple went with a longer shaped folder, and now they're back to a more square shaped folder as well here in beta 6. So before it was this style, then in beta 5, they went to this, and now it's back to a more square design on the latest beta as well. So minor uh, refinements within the UI is what we're seeing here and uh, let's take a look here at a new splash screen as well for Apple Music uh, telling you everything new within Apple Music as you can see here Apple wants you to learn everything new uh, within Apple Music and I've noticed as well that within Apple Music there's slightly tweaking of the menus at the bottom of the screen as you can see there uh, some of these icons have been rearranged uh, on the menus for the bottom of the screen there for Apple Music as well. Again, refinements with the latest beta. Now, for those of you who are having issues with Instagram stories, if you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, Instagram released an update to fix the issue where you can't really post anything to your stories. If you try posting something to the stories, it would just be a blank screen, any image that you would try to upload. This was actually an issue on Instagram's end. I thought it was both iOS and Instagram, but it appears that Instagram has fixed that issue. If you're having that issue, go ahead and update your Instagram and you should get back the ability to upload stories as well. And last but not least, I want to talk about spatial audio. This is a feature that I've been waiting for on AirPods Pro. Now, spatial audio is found under an accessibility option. So accessibilities, if we scroll down to AirPods right here, now this is for AirPods Pro, there it is, follow iPhone. Spatial audio would actually follow you when you're wearing your AirPods and you're watching a movie or a TV show that supports this feature. So it says here, when following iPhone is on, audio from uh, supported movies and TV shows will sound like it's coming from your iPhone instead of following your head movement. So if you walk away from it, the audio still comes from the direction of your device, which is super cool. Uh, weird to explain, but it is an awesome feature, which of course I'll be testing out. Again, this is for uh, the AirPods Pro and spatial audio supported media like movies and TV shows. Now, of course, you can expect my 24 to 48 hour follow up. As a matter of fact, I'm going to wait 48 hours. I want to test the software thoroughly, come back with additional new features and changes to share with you guys. This was just a quick first look at Beta 6 and some of the latest changes. I've come across after using the software for about two hours. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you real soon. Peace.